OpenAI has been steadily improving ChatGPT's features, especially when it comes to image generation, and I've noticed that there are a couple of unique use cases for design that most people have been missing out on. ChatGPT might not be your primary image generation tool, but it can actually help you with a variety of design tasks, and the best part is, it's completely free. So in this video, I'm going to share six unique use design cases for ChatGPT that most people don't know about. Let's get started with the first one, changing aspect ratios. Head over to ChatGPT and upload any image of your choice. Once uploaded, add a simple prompt asking it to keep the image consistent but change the aspect ratio. At the moment, ChatGPT can only create three aspect ratios, mobile, 9 to 16 tall, wide, 16 to 9, and square, 1 to 1. So if you want to change your design to fit one of these formats, like for social media posts, thumbnails, or reels, this is a great and easy way to do it. As you can see, ChatGPT made the changes without any glitches. Two, replacing a product in a design. If you already have a design that you like but want to replace the product inside it, maybe to create different variations, you can do that easily with ChatGPT. Let me show you what I mean. I uploaded one of my designs and another image of a juice carton that I wanted to use as a replacement. Once both images were uploaded, I simply added a prompt asking ChatGPT to keep everything in the design the same, but only replace the juice carton with the new one. And just like that, here's the result. It worked so seamlessly. The entire design remained the same. All the text, layout, and details were perfectly preserved. What really surprised me was how it even adjusted the color tone of the carton slightly to match the design. Everything stayed consistent, except for a small difference in shade, which actually made the new design look even better. Three, extracting characters or elements. For this, I uploaded another packaging design I made earlier. My goal was to remove the characters from the package. I simply added a prompt asking ChatGPT to remove the characters from the package, and here's the result. It worked perfectly. It extracted the characters cleanly and even filled in missing details. For example, the lady's hair that was cropped off in the package was completed automatically. That's really cool. This feature is super helpful if you work with AI-generated images and don't have access to the original layers. You can easily pull out individual elements for use in social media posts, new designs, or mock-ups. Now, aside from removing characters, you can also extract the entire design from a mock-up. For example, I uploaded a sleeping aid packaging mockup I made for a client. I asked ChatGPT to extract just the design and remove the mockup entirely. And it did exactly that. It even placed the design on a transparent background. This is a huge time saver because you don't need Photoshop or other editing tools to isolate your designs anymore. Four blending photos or characters. If you have two different images and want to blend them together or add a person from one image to another, ChatGPT can handle that too. For example, I uploaded two different illustrations of black characters in a similar art style and asked ChatGPT to put them together. The result was absolutely amazing. It kept the style consistent, matched the lighting and tone, and made it look like both characters were part of the same original artwork. I haven't tested this much with photographs yet, but for illustrations, it works flawlessly every single time. This feature can also be used to blend realistic product photos or different design compositions. As long as you're combining compatible styles, ChatGPT does a fantastic job. Five, transferring styles between images. During the whole ChatGBT Studio Ghibli craze, many people were excited about how it could restyle their pics. But this use case goes beyond that. We're not just asking ChatGPT to create a style, we're asking it to transfer the exact style from one image to another. Here's what I did. I uploaded a regular photo alongside a cartoon character and asked ChatGPT to transfer the cartoon style to the photo. And here it is. The result was incredible. The character looked like a proper cartoon version of the original image with a consistent art style and clean finish. I love how it captured the essence of the reference image instead of just turning it into a random like cartoon filter. This method gives you much better results because you're giving ChatGPT a clear visual example to follow rather than relying on vague style descriptions. Six, replacing characters in a design. The final use case, and one of my favorites, is replacing characters in a design. For this example, I uploaded a caricature album cover design that featured two characters. Then, I uploaded a real photo of a woman I wanted to use instead. I'll write a longer prompt asking ChatGPT to replace the female character with the woman in the photo, change her clothes, and add accessories. I was impressed when it finished! 
The result looked exactly like the reference woman. The male character and background remained untouched, and everything stayed stylistically consistent. It even kept the lighting and pose natural, while making sure the new character fit perfectly within the design. This is incredibly powerful if you work with character-based designs, posters, or album covers, and need to make quick adjustments or personalize your artwork. The best part about all of these use cases is that they're completely free to use with ChatGPT. If you're a designer or AI artist, these hidden use cases can seriously improve your workflow, helping you create content faster, make adjustments effortlessly, and experiment with new design ideas in ways that weren't possible before. If you enjoyed learning these hidden ChatGPT design tricks, make sure to subscribe and share this video with others who might find it useful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!